Hello friends, welcome to this Python library's course for data analysis and manipulation. In this part, we are going to discuss about group by in pandas. So when we have data like this, the data that is given here, you can see we have data of four days, 1st January, 2nd January, 3rd January and 4th January. And we have data for three cities here, Delhi, Mumbai and Chandigarh. So we have different temperatures for Delhi, different temperatures for Mumbai, different temperatures for Chandigarh, same about wind speed and event. So when we have data like this, so we can apply group by method. We uh, and we can calculate ag aggregate values for each city in this case, like mean, what, what is the mean temperature of Delhi? What is the mean temperature of Mumbai or Chandigarh? What is the maximum temperature of any particular city? And what is the minimum temperature? What is sum of all temperatures or all wind speeds of any particular city? So things like that can be calculated here. In a data frame, you know that uh, calculating mean of any one particular column is very easy. But when you have data like this, so uh, we can have our answers like what is the mean temperature of Delhi for these four days? What is the mean temperature of Mumbai and Chandigarh? And these can be any cities and this data can be, uh, this thing can be any data, any data where we have groups. So here we are grouping by city, we can group by country, we can group uh, by gender, we can group by class, we can do anything. So we'll have such data frames and we will see how we can do that. But now let's test group by here. So here I have created my folder group by and in group by we have city wise underscore weather dot csv data. Now I will open it. I will open this Python file. This is the same data that we saw just in the descript description. So we have to import pandas as pd and then we have to create the df which will be pd dot read underscore csv and in csv we have to write the name we can rename it as group by and this is very important thing here group by will be used a lot for exploratory data analysis because in aggregation in calculation minimum and maximum per group we, we will use this so now we have our data frame right and then you, you group by any particular column here. So we can either group by event also because in event also we have repeating values like sunny, cloudy, rain. And so we have three values repeating here or we can group by city also. So when we have data like this, we can write df dot group by and in group by you have to write the name of column. So the name of column in our case is city and when you will do this you will see that it is grouped by and we have not received any output here but again this is what group by does for us. So we can do one thing here we can save this data frame as dfg. So now we can apply a simple function on dfg to see because when you will print dfg you will not get anything because in group by we don't see output uh, in this regular manner so we have to use a function here let's use that so we can write our function like this and then we can see how this data is grouped so now you can see the, the output here that for city chandigarh we have the group data for city delhi we have the group data and for City Mumbai, we have the group data. So in the data frame, uh, actually uh, in the data set that we got here, uh, these columns were arranged as per their name. Sometimes you will get data ran in a random way also. Then you can use this type of function to see the data, how group by will affect it. Now, uh, since we have seen group by that our group by is working, now it's time to calculate something or it's time to analyze something. Let's say what is the maximum temperature of Delhi. So we have four.